Hi there, I'm Juan from Porter, and in this video, I will show you how to automate your LinkedIn ads reports on Google Data Studio. You will see that it is quite simple and you don't need to write any single line of code. I will show you all the metrics, all the fields, and all the insights you can get from LinkedIn ads to Data Studio. So let's get started. Okay, you have more than one way to connect your LinkedIn ads data. Uh, Porter is not the only solution. I recommend it to you and I will use it in this tutorial. There are two ways to use our connector. First, on our website, you can do it or you can go to Google Data Studio. You can go to create a report and then you can look for our LinkedIn ads connector by Porter Metrics here. I will do it from our website. First, I will show you how you can search for it here. Here you can type Porter, Porter Metrics, LinkedIn Ads, and then you can find our connector or other connectors. But I will start from here. Here on the website, you can go to try for free. And on try for free, you can see all the connections we have for Google Data Studio and Google Sheets and other destinations. I hope that you will watch this video when we have more product. Uh, you can connect to Facebook ads, to Facebook pages, but I will connect to LinkedIn ads by the way this is a, a new product actually. It is even new for me in some cases. I will go to LinkedIn ads, I will click here, and we will go to Google Data Studio to set up the LinkedIn ads connection. Have you ever watched those unboxing videos where you review a new cell phone? Well, this is an unboxing video to review this connector. I say this because I am the founder of Porter, but I didn't build this connector, so I want to see our developers work. This is where I am right now. I will connect the LinkedIn ads. I am on Google Data Studio. I have already connected this before. But in your case, if it's your first time, you will be asked to sign in with Google with your Gmail account and then with your LinkedIn account. It is just signing up with both platforms and then you are done. After this, we will set up the parameters. And what is the parameter? I only need to choose a LinkedIn ads account. Good thing about Porter Metrics. You can choose more than one account to connect in one connection to Google Data Studio. So I could, for instance, I could know the total ad spent and can report the total ad spent and the total conversions of all these accounts. But for this exercise, I will choose just one instead of two. I will choose just one connection. And the LinkedIn ads account I want to connect is this one. After finishing to connect this, I will go to connect on Data Studio. This is pretty similar to all connectors on Data Studio and then we will see the fields list. Here, we are in the field list. If you are wondering, we bring more than 200 fields between metrics and, and dimensions from LinkedIn ads. If you want to know them all and understand them, we created a guide that I will share with you in the links in the description. Okay, I won't review all these metrics. We will do it with a template we created for you. So I will go right away to create a report and then create report. Okay, as you can see, within three or four clicks, we automated a LinkedIn ads report. You can stop the video here because you already have a report created. Uh, once you connect to LinkedIn ads with Porter Metrics, we created a report with 11 pages for you. As I am showing you here, we cover every use case of LinkedIn ads reporting. Now, I can stop here or you can stop here. You just need to copy this template and you are done and you can browse all the metrics here, or maybe we can play a little bit with our report. For instance, I want to see other reports uh, like demographics data. So here we have our demographics report with LinkedIn ads data. There are some things that I can visualize here. For instance, the job title of the people I am reaching with my ads, this is interesting because it helps me have an idea of a potential buyer persona, maybe. Also, I can do it, uh, this is the same chart actually, a pie chart and a bar chart, but they display the same data. I am visualizing the audience I reach with my ads by job title. Now, what other demographics I have on geography? For instance, job function. I also can see if these people are working in operations, in business development, in sales, and so on. And another interesting breakdown is visualizing my audience or the people I am reaching with my ads by company size. I am seeing that most people I am reaching are from large companies that have more than a thousand to five thousand employees. This is quite interesting because it seems I am reaching large companies. This report is insightful, but it is limited. When we created this, uh, this connection, we noticed that LinkedIn ads won't let you break your data by demographics 
with conversion data. So mostly you can use metrics like impressions to have these breakdowns. This is important to know. And I guess most providers won't tell you about this limitation, but this limitation is about LinkedIn itself. Let's understand this campaign report for LinkedIn ads. I am not quite familiar with LinkedIn ads, but I assume it is pretty similar to Facebook ads. So I can visualize, for instance, the campaign and the campaign objective. This account is running just one campaign, as I see, and I can visualize the campaign format. Uh, for instance, it is a standard. Uh, I guess when you go to the feed of LinkedIn, this is where these ads show. Uh, it is meant for lead generation. It says the campaign status, which is finished, completed, and I can know all the metrics, performance and engagement, carousel and video metrics. I can associate them to this campaign. So I can know the amount spent, the money I spent on this campaign, the number of impressions, clicks, and conversions. This campaign didn't have any conversions. That's why it reports zero. And the CTR, the effectiveness of your ad, here is uh, less than 1%. Also, this is quite interesting. I can break down my data by campaign. I also can bring campaign name. Let me try it out, but later. But I also can break down my data by creatives. If you can see here in this table below, I can display the creative thumbnail or image of my ad so I can quickly understand which ads are performing better. And as well, I can combine di these dimensions like campaign name, the image, creative text, and I can combine them with any kind of metrics. Now, I think it is time for you to browse our report templates. If you want them, they are free, you can grab them, but we can create a report from scratch. So let's do it. If you are new to Google Data Studio, I think this will be a good tutorial as well. I will show you how to understand metrics, how to create charts. The first thing I do when I create a report is asking a question, and I would like to ask how much money I am spending on ads. I will answer that question right now. So to answer that, I want a scorecard. I will go to insert, and after insert, I will choose a scorecard. I want to display a plain number, and I will add it here. Now, it displayed by default the frequency as a metric, but I don't want frequency. The question is amount spent, and the metric is called spent. So I go here, performance, spend, and I will bring the spend metric. Now I know I am spending $900 or maybe there is another currency. I will let it like this. I also would like to know this spend over time. So I will go to control C and control D this thing. I am asking this question, amount spent, which is the metric spent, but I want to see it over time. So I want to break my data over time, like by date. So here I will go to spend. I will change the chart. Instead of a scorecard, I will choose a time series. Okay, I created a time series, but it is not working as expected. I am not seeing any data. Let's see why. I will close this tab. I don't want to change this, the scorecard or the, or the chart, in this case, the time series. And I want to see what is going on. Okay, the metric spent is correct. The dimension, the dimension is the value that I use to break down my data, is campaign run start date. This dimension tells me when the campaign starts, but I don't want to use this dimension. To break down my data by days, I want to use the dimension that is called date. And that's how I will choose it. Perfect, I will make it this a little bit bigger. And now I have a report that shows me exactly in which days, in what dates I am spending on LinkedIn ads. What I see here is that this account is not very used and these people only tried it for, for a little. I will have this report here. Let's do other things. Let's create a table to visualize our campaigns and our creatives. Let's do it. So I will go to insert and I will choose a table and I will drop it right here. Just for the record, remember that at Porter we have many video tutorials and blog posts of our Google Data Studio. So if you want to know in greater detail all our functions of Data Studio, like charts, like filters, like formulas, like blending data, remember on our YouTube channel, you can find it everything. Okay, now I have this table, date, spent, but I want to change the question. I want to know my campaign performance. I want to know how much money I am spending per campaign or per ad. So the metric spend is correct, but I will break my I will break down my data, not by date, but by campaign name.
So as you can see, I am seeing many fields around campaign and this is not comfortable. So I will do it right here, better for me, campaign. And this is quite interesting. I see many fields or many dimensions related with campaign name or with campaigns. So I can break down by campaign account, campaign ID, campaign name. And here is the one I am looking for. I want to break down by campaign name. And I will drag and drop this dimension right here. Great, we have a table that breaks down our spend data by campaign. And I'm seeing the names form, not pretty intuitive by the way, but it is okay. I want to add an additional dimension, which is the creative. I will go here and I will type image or add image, but not here, but here instead, image. And I can see, I can bring the creative thumbnail. So I will bring it right here. And here we have our table. We are breaking down our spend data by creative and by campaign name. There are many more things I can do. I can use other metrics. I can create custom formulas, but I won't show it in this video because we have many dedicated videos around that. In the description of this video, you will find LinkedIn ads report templates. You will find our Google Data Studio complete tutorial and other tutorials about reporting on Google Data Studio. There are many more things I want to show you on this connector, but I will leave it for another video or for separate videos. I will show you just one trick. I will duplicate this table. And instead of this data, I want to display the image or the logo of the company. Why I want to do that? I will show you why. I will remove this dimension and I will add the dimension that is called company logo image. And I will drop it right here. And we'll remove the other dimensions. And great, I am bringing the logo of our company of the ad account. Why I want to do this? If you're an agency or a marketer working with multiple clients, you will need to rebrand or customize or white label your reports. Then you will need to copy and paste the logo of your clients in every report, but you don't have to do it. You can create a table, choose this dimension, and dynamically it will display always the logo of your client. So you need to add an image manually. This is a hack I wanted to show you to customize your Google Data Studio reports, and we have a tutorial for that as well. So I will stop here and I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and this video. In the next tutorials, we'll see how to automate Facebook reports, social media reports, e-commerce, and way, way more. Power Metrics is your channel to learn to use your metrics and analyze your data without coding. I will see you. I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching.